just with us for the fame Spend it and spend it, do it all day Mansions and places you cannot stay You just keep talking and talking down on my name Feel like you just with us for the fame Spend it and spend it, do it all day Mansions and places you cannot stay You just keep talking and talking down on my name Yo, what's up guys, we're back here in the video, so it's Bedoya here. I hope the audio is fine, because I'm literally right next to the beach right now, as you guys can see, and obviously it causes a lot of wind and the waves and a bunch of stuff. So I really hope that doesn't affect the audio. So today I actually have a video I've been meaning to shoot for a long time, so I'm super excited to drop this one. If you're a returning viewer, you'll know that about three weeks ago I dropped a video talking about this new business I started, um, how it was 400k a year, now it's about almost 600k a year. It's been scaling extremely fast and hopefully I'm trying to take it up to a million a year. That's the goal right now. Um, we've ran into some setbacks. We should have been a little higher than we are now. You know, Facebook ad account problems, credit card processing problems, customer problems a bunch of things you know when you're doing a business that has to do with customers where you have employees and a bunch of things there's so many setbacks that come in the way but that's part of you know starting a business and it's great you know having these problems it's good problems to have they could be stressful but at the end of the day it's all worth it so so in this video i'm actually going to talk about how i still make over a thousand dollars every single day even when i'm out here traveling i'm currently out here in ecuador um went to colombia because i have to get my wisdom teeth out soon um, and then my grandpa decided, you know, let's just go to Ecuador for a bit. We like to go to these resorts um, And it's all included. So I'm about to get I'm, I'm about to gain like 35 pounds um, Hopefully I'll put on some weight after this but but yeah So how is it that I'm able to still make money while I'm out here traveling? You know, I've been I haven't been in Miami for real um, in about three weeks because I was out in LA for about a week now I'm here um, was in Colombia for a bit. How is it I'm able to do these things and still make money and still manage all the businesses? So today specifically, I'm only gonna be touching on that one source of income. I have currently seven sources of income that I could tell you guys in detail and describe, but today we're only touching on the one that I talked about about three weeks ago. So how am I able to still do all those things while I'm out here traveling? So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna, I'm not really gonna focus on so I'm not really focusing so much on how I got to a thousand a day. I'll go over it and I'll tell you guys tips that helped, you know, scale. Cause we started this about mid July. So it's been about, I mean, actually like August, the first week of August, like August 7, 8 is when we actually started doing like Facebook ads and going full force on everything. Um, but at the actual opening the corporation and stuff like that, this was done during summer. So how was it able to scale um, a business from zero to I'm projecting it to be a million dollar business um, by the end of the year. How did I do that so quick? Relatively quickly because usually, you know, you don't hear those numbers when you hear about a general business. That's why, you know, anything having to do with e-commerce, Facebook ads and stuff like that, if you truly master it, um, and obviously I'm not saying I master it 100% that I'm like, you know, a guru or something like that. Um, but I definitely do believe that in the past year I've learned enough to go ahead and do what I just did with this business along with my business partner. So what is it that allowed me to do that and what is it that allows me to, you know, still do that while I'm out here? Um, so before we go into all the details, let's start off with the so it's currently August 13 and this is the gross volume for the month 13.6k and it's only 1 p.m. So today might actually be a record day We're looking at maybe 1.3 1.4k So you guys saw that we're basically over doing over a thousand a day and that's the stripe We're also taking PayPal and through PayPal we're doing about 400 to 500 a day um, So, you know, let's talk about actual numbers How much am I spending on ads daily because I'm not gonna be here like oh, I'm making a thousand a day um, 1,400 500 if we're counting PayPal um, and that's it. So obviously, uh, Facebook ads are spending about $350, $400 a day. That's through customer acquisition. So what we're doing is literally all the revenue that go comes in through PayPal, we spend it on Facebook ads. So that's why I mentioned Stripe as the profit. It's a business where everything that comes in besides ads is profit. There's no, there's no cost for the product. So everything that comes in after ads is profit except the employees that we hire to basically run the business that allows my business partner and i to you know focus on other businesses because what we're doing right now is extremely time consuming um we were doing it ourselves for the first two three weeks and i literally didn't have a life and so that was something that affected all my other businesses as youtube for example because i couldn't post content 
Um, so we went ahead and we hired employees to completely manage the business. You know, that four hour work week stuff out here, um, I literally don't touch the business at all, other than Facebook ads, which is basically like, you know, my section, or if there's a glitch with ClickFunnels or anything else, um, that's where I come in. Um, but other than that, you know, I literally don't have to worry about anything. The payments come in, customer support's taken care of, and everything else is completely taken care of. So, how do you go about doing all this stuff? First of all, you need to have your vision clear. You need to go ahead and you you need to create a brand. Because if you're doing this for a couple dollars, you know, you might make ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars in one month, but after that, you know what happens? That like that's useless. Yes, it sounds like a lot of money, but if we're talking about business here, we're talking we're not talking about money. At the end of the day, money comes and goes. Um, but we're talking about business. If you're trying when you're starting a business, you have to shoot for longevity. And there's no way to do that if you're not branding yourself. I always talk about in my channel how important branding is. And if you're not focused on creating an actual brand, an actual, you know, something that people can know and will at some point reference and see as your business, not necessarily, you know, you don't have to link it to you. This business is completely unlinked to my personal brand or anything, but you have to create a brand that when people see it, there's reliability, there's trust, that maybe if you have influencers to back up that brand, it's just gonna grow so much faster. If you have something that, you know, you're half-assing the project, the business, uh, there's not really a brand, you don't really have a logo, you have a shitty name, for example, it's just not gonna work out because you know you might make some money, but in the long run, people are not gonna stick to it. People like brands, that's why they stick to Apple, Nike, Adidas, you know, it's just human psychology. Um, people like something that they can feel familiar with, and if you're not creating something with your brand that's sort of like a cult, a family, you know, you make people feel included when they join your business, it's not gonna work out in the long term. That's why companies such as, you know, Google, Apple, they focus so much on, you know, creating a cult type feeling to them for their employees and the people that use them. And it's just overall, they really focus on the user experience. So the number one, the main reason as to why this business, for example, as I said, I have multiple sources of income. This is only one that I'm talking about today. I'm not touching on the other ones because that's not the point of the video. Um, but this business could be making a lot of money right now, but that's not the focus. Because at the end of the day, let's say the business crashed, if you build the brand, those customers are gonna stay. If they like your service or your business or your product, they're gonna stay, you know? So at the end of the day, if you continue to provide that service, you're gonna have money for three, four, five, six, seven years. For as long as you know, the product is available. If you create a quick cash cow, you know, a trend, a fidget spinner, it's gonna make you some money, but at the end of the day, you make $10,000. If you don't make any more money after that for a whole year, how long is that gonna last you? Um, obviously, it depends on your lifestyle, but at least for me, I wanna go ahead and start investing into real estate. I wanna go ahead and start investing into more music events as the previous Gunna one. Um, I just have so many goals. I have so many things that I wanna go ahead and invest in, um, build, like honestly, um, obviously back when I started a year ago, the whole money thing, obviously I didn't have any money back when I started, so it was, one of the 99% drive, like, you know, it was like, I have to make this happen. You know, if I'm gonna stop college for now, I have to show, you know, my parents and the people around me that it's something legit, you know? So at that point, you know, money was extremely important. But now it's just more about creating an impact, being able to build brands. I've seen people, uh, close friends, you know, move from drop shipping completely to creating their own product, you know? Like, they literally create their own product ship it from alibaba to a warehouse and make over a million dollars in a month insane like sixty thousand dollars a day seventy thousand dollars a day um not sure exactly how much that adds up to in terms of a month but i seen them do ninety five thousand dollars in one day these numbers i never thought possible i mean when i was in college i used to dream of making seventy eighty thousand dollars a year to me that was like a great salary i was like yo if I'm able to go to college and study something that has to do with software engineering, which I, it wasn't completely what I liked because I, as I've said before, I like traveling, I like meeting people, I like talking to people. I'm not good for sitting behind a computer all day and just being locked in. And I always wanted to be somehow involved in the music industry, which is something that I'm getting into now. Um, working with, you know, my friend, you guys have known, you guys have seen him before in the channel um, and just doing overall a lot of things. I'm diversifying a lot. So at the end of the day, yes, money is great at the beginning but if you're really in the entrepreneurship game business game for the long run and you're not just here for the flex or for the couple months and you know just to maybe you're just making money online if you're doing drop shipping just because you want some extra money completely fine you know that works not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur i know people that are studying for to be lawyers and stuff like that and they're still doing drop shipping because you know they just want the extra money it's like their job that's completely fine but there's 
you could see it as a job or you can see it as a career not necessarily drop shipping but online marketing you know everything having to do with Facebook ads creating brands marketing for companies for your own company for stuff like that so at the end of the day if you brand yourself and every single thing you touch and start you're gonna be set for a very long time as long as you're doing things fine so that's number one and most important so number two which is the main point of this video how do I make money while I travel it's hire a team if you're the one providing the service let's say for example me I can't hire someone to take over YouTube not that I would because I love doing videos and stuff um, but at the end of the day it's also a business it's something that I enjoy doing and when I started it I just wanted to you know create content and go through like lifestyle content which I haven't gotten to completely yet I'm in that transition um, but it's not something that you could outsource because if you guys saw that I started outsourcing my videos out of nowhere you guys click on my video um, and you see someone completely different you're gonna think either I got hacked or I completely lost my shit because that'd be extremely weird honestly um, you guys would probably unsubscribe and it wouldn't make sense but if it's a business where the service or the product is very straightforward um, let's say for example you start your own product you hire people to be in the warehouse you hire people to take over customer support you hire people to do as many things as necessary and all you worry about is you know the thing that you're good at and nobody else could do like I can't really outsource Facebook ads yes you can obviously but that'd be giving away a big chunk um, of the revenue of the profit when at the end of the day I know how to do it myself so why would I hire someone to do it when I can do it myself I'd rather hire people that can do the tedious work so just customer support I don't want to be replying to emails all day um, order fulfillment I don't want to be you know my computer all day for five six hours ordering the products that's literally anyone could do that I could literally train my eight-year-old brother to do that but it wouldn't make sense um, so it's work that like that that it's really easy to find someone to do it um, you don't want to do it because it will take most of your day and you wouldn't be able to focus on other businesses and yeah so how do I travel while making money it's literally that outsource your work and do what you know how to do and nobody else could do so what I as I said before other business partner he takes care of everything having to do with the website coding and stuff like that I take care of Facebook ads and it's like we do what we have to do and then after that it's all our employees which we hired a while month and a half ago ever since life has been great with that business because as I said before I didn't have a life those first two three weeks which obviously when you start a business you have to be willing to put in the work sweat and tears at the end of the day um, I wasn't expecting to hire a team of employees that quick he was the one that found the employees and so far it's been amazing it's, it's been the best decision yet um, but I was willing to you know go at it for a long time maybe up to October just to build the business and make sure everything was set um, to be doing like 60 70k a month before we hire employees but it made sense you know we spend about four to five K a month on everything else having to do with you know um, applications programs that we have to use for the business things like such as click funnels um, the employees customer support and all that which is completely fine because at the end of the day as of right now today we bring in about 46 to fifty thousand dollars a month obviously the month isn't over and we still have a bunch of customers to acquire so there's definitely gonna be a much it's already coming up close to last month um, so we're doing about 50 to 60 thousand projecting so it's completely fine to you know take five thousand dollars at the end of the day if you don't spend that money you're gonna have to pay it in taxes so you might as well hire a team to take over it you get to enjoy life focus on your other projects and travel the world and you know just build the business the right way you don't see Bill Gates and all these people uh, maybe they are behind a computer all day uh, but the corporation the business could run without them you know uh, they have employees and people that take care of certain things he, you don't see Bill Gates taking care of financial and all the other stuff that comes into Microsoft so yeah that's basically the moral of the story how do I make over a thousand dollars a day with the business I started about a month and a half ago it comes down to two things obviously there's more to it you know if you don't know Facebook ads and stuff like that you have to put in the time to learn all that but at the end of the day if you're starting a business and you want to be able to travel the world and at the end of the day some sort of passive income which isn't necessarily all passive because I still do some things um, but it comes down to you know branding you have to brand it if you don't brand it it's gonna die out within a month it's gonna be a quick cash uh, and that's it you know you're making a thousand dollars a day for a week and then after that it's done for maybe you had it for the flex or maybe that's what that was your goal you know you just want to have it as a side thing obviously not the goal for me and number two just hire a team of employees that you can trust that you know they're gonna deliver great results um, and have them do every single thing that anyone else in the world could do obviously you're gonna train them and maybe the the tasks that they have to do are a little tedious or complicated you're the brains behind the the system the business and you hire people to do all the other stuff and then 
you're able to you know be out here for example or travel the world or not necessarily do this but maybe focus on other businesses if you guys haven't read the four hour work week it's a great book uh, to get more of this concept you know about passive income about outsourcing hiring VAs virtual assistants are another great thing uh, for Shopify so yeah I hope you guys like this video if you guys would like to see a couple more if you guys would like to see more videos on this topic make sure to leave a comment down below subscribe join the fam stay tuned for more videos um, I definitely plan on be, I definitely plan to be posting a lot more three to four videos weekly um, I might just pre-record a bunch of videos between you know from here this weekend because next week I'm gonna be Super looking like almond and the chipmunks because my wisdom teeth are coming out. That's gonna suck. That's gonna be terrible um, So I'm definitely not gonna be able to rec I'm definitely not gonna be able to record for like five to a days to a week I don't know how long it takes for me to go back to normal um, Definitely not posting a video looking like almond and the chipmunks. So yeah, I might just pre-record a bunch of videos and drop them next week So stay tuned for that new content appreciate the support and I'll see you guys soon with a brand new one. Peace out